program. I am requesting to all the viewers, please join us on our social network, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. This program is exclusively made for the foreigners as well as NRI who want to invest in India. This program is very lengthy, but I will do my best to cover this program within 10 minutes. The world is divided in three parts like a developed country, developing country or underdeveloping country. Firstly, I will discuss about the developed country like Australia, New Zealand, Canada, US, Japan, these etc. These are the developed countries. Developing countries like emerging economies in that company all the world have the eyes to investment like Brazil, one is India, China, Russia and South Africa. And developing countries, some of the CIS countries, all of the African country except South Africa. World is divided in these three parts. Now, today we will discuss about the investment in India. In this program, we will discuss fact and figure of India, by investment in India, benefit for investment, tax system of India, sector of investment, FDI systems, as well as making the company in India. After making the company, how the investor will get the residencies as well as citizenship, how the investors can purchase the property in India. These topics we will discuss in this program. Firstly, fact and figure. Government democracy, government in India. Capital is New Delhi. And population is 1,210 million. Second largest population in India. Area is 3.28 million. It stands seventh in the world. And border countries, Afghanistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar. And currency is Indian rupees. 1 USD is equal to 16 Indian rupees and uh, total states is 29 and Trinidad territory is 7 and official language Hindi and English. Now I will discuss about the advantages for investment in India. World largest economy as well as democracy countries. Second one is stable political environment, diversify climate conditions and saving culture peoples and investment friendly policies and incentive ways schemes for the investors and present government Mr. Modi government is drastically changes the policies for the investors in India even low cost for production being cheap labor availability of skilled manpower abundance natural resources English as the one of the official language as well as government emphasizing on the infrastructure development India location close to market of southeast as well as Middle East and Europe these are the advantages for investment in India. Now, I will discuss about the investment options. In India, we have the two options. Firstly, we will open a non-corporate entity. Second is a corporate entity. A foreigner can open it as a license office, branch office or project office. These come under non-corporate entities. And open a new company here like a private limited company or a limited company or societies or by existing companies. These come under incorporation of companies. How the investor will make the companies here like a new companies I will discuss here. Firstly the director of the companies like a foreigner it is called a director identification numbers. Thereafter making the deal number he will apply for the name of the ability of the company. Thereafter he will make the memorandum of the articles as per the business plan. I will suggest him how he will prepare the memorandum of understanding and article of association and we will submit these on the document with the respective body for taking the license. After two or three weeks the respective government issue the incorporation certificate if your company is ready you will bring your investment from outside India. After making the company the investor is immediately need to take some compliances like to apply the pen card of the company, DIN number, service tax, BAT excise registration as well as import export code and open a bank account of the companies as well as personal account. He need to take these type of compliances after making the company in India. Now I will tell how the foreign can bring the investment in India. In India have the two routes. One is the automatic route. Second is the government routes. In the automatic route FDI like a foreign direct investment person can bring here without taking the prior approval from the government. Since in some of the sector, government made the policies, if the first investor will make the investment in that sector, he can bring the 100% investment both taking the prior approval. 
but in some of the sectors he need to take the prior approval from the government that come under government approvals in in which we need to take the permission from the rbi from the reserve bank of india before bringing the money from outside india now i will tell about the which sector the person can investor can bring the investment in india without taking the prior approval like he can make the investment in these sector 100% that sector is automobile sectors biotechnology sector cement sector is there chemical civil aviation defense education food processing gem and jewelries health care heavy industries it sectors mining media and entertainment power retainings road and infrastructures steel telecommunications textile tourism and hospitality in these sector foreign investor can bring 100% investment in india without taking the prior approval no i will tell even as well as we are also providing the information to the investors about the fba policies in india about the state policies in india about the foreign trade policies in india about the industry policies in india when he will apply he will make the investment in india he will bring the investment in india we will provide these all the information of, about these policies now i will discuss about the which type of services we are providing to the investor who want to invest in india firstly i will organize his visa of india after organizing the visa then he will reach here we are giving the comprehensive presentations about the investment in india we are briefing about every states in big states government is providing the best type of facilities even i will provide the information which are the free zone in india even we are organizing the meeting of the investor with the respective state as the centers even we have indian businessmen who are interested to make the joint collaboration with the foreign investors we are also organizing the meeting with the prospective investor with that business people we are also providing the proper briefing about the indian tax systems we are providing the proper briefing about the purchasing the land in india by the foreign investor as well as we are applying their residency card we are helping the investor to bring the labor from outside india or bring the specialized from outside india as well as after applying the residency card how they will eligible to take the permanent residency of india how they will take the citizenship of india and what type of precautions they will take after investment we are providing complete information to the prospective investors about investment in india if any investor any of the worlds want to invest in india they will contact us so that we can provide maximum information to them thank you